In this video, we're going to take an updated look at the presets panel in 3D Coat. It works in any of the workspaces. If you don't see it docked in your UI, you can always access it from the Windows menu under Pop-ups. I have a hotkey assigned to it, which is the letter P. When it is docked, should you hit the hotkey to bring it up, it will essentially take this entire section and present it in the viewport. And in some cases, that may not be what you want. So you may want to drag it out, let it remain free floating, then scale it to your desired size. You can close it. Then as you are working, if you want to bring it to your cursor, you can hit your hotkey and scroll through. And as you can see, there are quite a number of different presets and it can seem a bit tedious at times trying to sort through them even if you have them alphabetically ordered. As of build 4.9.10, 3D Coat has added the ability to better organize a panel with the addition of preset folders. So for example, if I have a set of clay brushes, I could click the plus icon to create a new folder just for clay brushes. Go back to the default. You can also drag and drop these into their specific folder. As you can see here, I created one for polishing tools, so I can scroll down. Come over to the left hand side where you see the move icon. I can drag and drop right into that folder. And just continue doing this. I'll now create a new folder from scratch for miscellaneous presets. Okay, so I'll bring our preset panel back up. I'm going to create another one for the AM brushes. AM standing for Artman, a longtime contributor on the 3D Coat forums, who provided a nice collection of presets for the 3D Coat community to utilize. To make this preset panel more permanent in the viewport, when you click and drag the tab, it will now stay stationary as you move about. Without dragging the tab, 3D Coat will otherwise assume you want the panel to disappear when you move your cursor outside of it. Like that. Okay. Let me bring it back up again. And this time, I'm just going to dock it back here inside the column. We can also go to the upper right hand corner and we can choose what to store whenever we are creating a preset. You can clear all the presets here if you want. Once you have created a brush or tool with different brush alphas, maybe different brush options, different draw modes and all the parameters that you have here all set and you don't want to have to go through all that again to reuse it at a later point, then you can create a new preset by going to the upper right hand corner clicking Add Preset, you can name it accordingly, and 3D Coat will typically place it at the top of the panel. You have the option to have it display everything regardless of what workspace you're in. You can also have it just show what's relative to the mode or the workspace that you're in. For example, if I'm in surface mode on my Vox Tree layer, it's only going to show me the different surface tools. If I were to click Show All Presets, these are voxel tools, which really are not relevant to me at this point because my layer is not in voxel mode. So in short, that List Menu option allows me to choose whether I want the panel to be context sensitive or not. I can uncheck that so that only the surface tools are visible again. If you want to condense it even further, you can use Display Only as Text. The tool icon on the far left side indicates which brush or tool the preset is based on from the main tool panel. And you'll see the, the type of draw mode that it utilizes as well as the brush alpha. So with this docked, I can see my folders here. I'm probably going to create one for the draw brush. So 
So I'll go back to the default. Now I can go back to using the drag and drop method. Let's step into another workspace. So I can see only what's available for the Retopo workspace. Let's go into the Paint workspace. Again, I have the Presets panel dot, so I can drag that out, expand it a bit. So let me go ahead and click one. You'll notice how it loads the appropriate brush alphas. Some may load very quickly and others may take a bit longer to load depending on the size of the brush pack and the speed of your hard drive. If a preset uses a given smart material, then that specific material may require either a curvature map, an ambient occlusion map, or both. If you don't already have one created for your model, it will proceed to create a new one. Before I conclude, I want to go over the right-click menu on any given preset. You can right-click and choose some of the same options that we saw before. You can also delete a preset. You can choose what to store. You can add it to the quick panel and choose which slot to put it in. So for example, if I hit the space bar, the slots here at the top will be your quick access group. Right-click again. You can update a preset. So for example, let's say with this polish brush, maybe I want to use a different brush alpha, maybe a sharper one. I can go ahead and select it and then choose a different brush alpha. Maybe adjust the parameters to my liking. Come back to this one and right click and choose to update preset. And you'll see that reflected here. I'll select it again and once more right click and choose update preset. All right now if we want to create one to store ourselves Choose whichever brush or tool that you want to utilize and then adjust your parameters, select the different types of brush alphas and whatnot. And then when you're ready, you can come to the upper right hand corner and choose add preset or you can hover over any given preset, right click and choose to add a preset. You can also add additional hints to any given preset. Okay, when I come back to it, then I can just hover over that and you'll see in the tool description what I just typed. We can also rename. We can save our presets as a collection. We can also load new presets. You can also choose to move items, the selected item, to a given folder. That way you don't necessarily have to drag and drop. You can just right click and choose it here. If you want to move these in the stack, you can come over to the right hand side to where you see the move icon and place it. You could also go to the left hand side when you see the move icon. But if you click here in the middle, you're just going to be able to scroll up and down. You can click and drag. You can also use inertia if you need. And that's going to conclude this look at working with presets in 3D Coat as of build. 4.9.10. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.